Hey everyone, it's Matt, aka Tech Ranger, and today we're going to take a look at one mod, and that is the G36 Complex. It's a weapon mod. The mod was uploaded by HyperX and actually has a lot of different people who did a lot of different things on the project, so I will link that down below as well with the uh, Bethesda.net link. And I thought because there is a quest attached to this mod, that it would be a good idea to look at both the quest and the actual weapon mod. So there is going to be timestamps in the description both to look at the quest part of this video and the actual weapon part of this video. That way if you guys don't want the quest to be spoiled for you, you guys can just go straight to the uh, weapon and kind of how it looks and how it can be modded and that sort of thing. So if you guys want to do that, if you're interested in that, look at the description down below. Uh, but without further ado, let's start off and let's look at the quest because it's a little involved and I think it deserved a video to just kind of go over it and show you guys how to actually get the weapon. Before you start the quest, you will need master lockpicking in order to get into one of the areas in this quest. After downloading the G36 Complex mod, you will have a new quest in your data tab on your Pip-Boy. And what you're going to want to do is head to the Glowing Sea. You will see a little marker. It's going to be a brand new marker. I fast traveled kind of near it. From here, you're going to want to make your way around the house and pass that little bunker with the little elevator. And you're going to want to make your way up the mountain. There's a little bit of a path that you can kind of follow. And then once you get around the mountain, you're going to go up another path and you might encounter some resistance, like of the mosquito variety. Apologies for the aim you're about to see because it's not pretty. But after that, you're going to make your way up to the bunker and there's going to be this uh, kind of like capsule. It's going to be the skeleton looking guy. I didn't see any keys or anything on him, so I don't think, I think it's just there for effect. So you'll turn around and head into the vault. You'll quickly find out that you have some friends inside, you have some ghouls, and you're going to need to take them out. And there's a couple different rooms in this uh, vault, and there's going to be some resistance along the way. So you're going to want to make your way down all the way, and once you get to the end, you'll see a bunch of like radioactive uh, canisters. And you're going to want to take a left first and head into that door, which will come to another hangar type area. After you take out these ghouls, look around at the barricades. There should be two assault rifles laying on the floor, kind of around the dead soldiers, the skeleton soldiers. And you're going to want to pick those up because those are important because you'll need them to actually craft the G36. Pick those up and you're going to want to head down this hallway and take a left and you're going to run into this kind of armory. You're going to have to unlock this kind of cage area where the there's like a old school fallout power armor in there that you're going to need to get into if you want um you are going to encounter some more resistance later on so that might be worth it for you to get into you're going to want to open this area up and on the table there is going to be a key that you need to pick up in order to get to the next part of the quest and open a door when you enter the base at the end of the hall, we turn left. Instead, it's on the right. So basically, when we go back out this way, it's going to be straight across from us. And then that is going to be used to open that door to get to the next area. So go ahead and follow the tunnel all the way up and go through the door. And this is kind of where you're going to need to put your thinking cap on. Well, not really because I'm going to show you. So this is where you find a hidden room. And if you look around, you're not really going to see anything at first glance. But... If you look back at the wall to the left when you walked in, you're going to see some pre-war money on the ground and it's going to reveal a switch which is going to open a secret door over to your right and that is going to take you to this kind of secret area room that has the blueprint in it and it's kind of a cool looking room. There's not much in it. There's a door at the end. I believe there's some loot in there. You're going to find the G36 blueprint on this little workbench. And if you're like me, you don't have the materials to craft anything because you usually just dump it in a workbench. So you're going to have to actually go somewhere and craft it if you don't already have what you need. So make your way back out of the military base. You're going to have to fight your way out because there are a lot of ghouls. So you've got your G36 blueprint, and now it's time to craft the G36, but if you're like me, you probably don't have all the materials 
namely being those assault rifles that you should have picked up in the base but maybe didn't. You can buy them from a couple places. I got a good neighbor and can buy from the two vendors there. You can also buy it from the vendor in Diamond City whose name escapes me every time and that's what you need to craft your G36. Now it is important to note that once you craft the G36 you're not going to be able to mod everything about it. This mod is different in that you actually need to buy the attachments off of vendors. It can get kind of pricey. In fact, it's almost 15,000 caps to buy all of the mods for this weapons. So you might wanna save your caps or sell a lot of stuff. Uh, if you're familiar with some of my other armor slash weapon videos that I've done for the Fallout 4 mods, generally the weapons usually have about the same modding capabilities as the rest of them. This one's just a little bit different because you actually have to buy the mods rather than make them and have them all available to you all at once. So keep that in mind when you download the mod because you're going to either need the caps to spend on those mods or you're just going to have to just figure on buying them at some point and uh, play around with a G36 unmodded. It's probably my favorite weapon in any video game. I just kind of like to play with it whether it's like Call of Duty or Division or whatever. G36 is my go-to. I'm really glad that this is in the game. Props to people who made this and put in the time to make it not only is it a cool weapon but it's also just kind of a cool quest to kind of do uh, it's not like super involved but it's uh cool enough to where it's like oh cool somebody put in the effort if you guys are interested in seeing more fallout 4 weapons slash armor videos let me know i'll uh, kind of keep an eye out or do videos like these uh as i kind of move from one lord order video to the other or one fallout 4 video to another if you guys enjoyed the video or if it helped you out if you're looking forward to downloading this or or just like the content definitely give it a like and consider sharing it around if you thought it was helpful thank you guys so much and i will catch you in the next video bye we may have liberated the commonwealth but our job is far